Hi there, my name is Susan Iback and I just want to share another little tip for working in Visual Studio a little quicker and a little more efficiently. Today, if you haven't discovered it yet, I have a tip for web developers to help you with your HTML coding. If you haven't found it yet, you want to install the Visual Studio Web Essentials. I'll put a link to it in the text below this video. Or you can just search for VS, as in Visual Studio Web Essentials, and you'll find it. What we can do is, if you're doing any web development, you're bound to end up doing some HTML. And, you know, there's some nice autocomplete built right into Visual Studio. If, if you start typing a div tag um, and uh, you, excuse my typing, I start typing a div tag, the close tag is added for me automatically by Visual Studio, which is a nice little feature. And I do appreciate that sort of autocomplete type logic. But when I install Visual Studio Web Essentials, I can also use what we call Zen coding. What this allows me to do is I just type the word div, my HTML element that I want to create, and when I hit the tab key, it automatically inserts that into the opening tags and adds a closing tag for me. It's kind of cool, uh, saves me a little bit of typing. I'm a lazy coder, so I appreciate the simplicity. But um, it's even nicer when you get to more complicated elements. Let's say we have uh, a table. Of course, if I type table, just like with the div, and hit the tab key, Zen coding will automatically put those into opening and closing element tags for me. But what I can also do is I can say, well, inside that table, I'd like a row and I'd like a column. By using the greater than symbol, I specify that I want to nest these elements inside each other. When I hit the tab key, the Zen coding will then create for me my table element with one row and one column. But I can do even better than that. Chances are you know how many rows and columns you need. So go ahead and say, hey, I'd like to create a table with two rows, and in each of those rows, I would like three columns. By using the asterisk two or asterisk three, I indicate how many of the elements I want when they're created. So now when I hit the tab key, I get myself a table that contains two rows, and each of those two rows contains three columns. So now we're really starting to save some time. So what else can I do? Well, Zen coding also allows some other features as well. Let's try uh, an unordered list, and let's add three list items to it. This is similar to what we did with the table. I'm nesting three list items inside an unordered list. But what you can also do is you can add lorem ipsum, because that's supported by Zen coding as well. So when I create my three list items, or four list items, I can specify that for each of those, I'd like some lorem ipsum by just adding the keyword lorem. And now, when I hit that tab key, I get my four list items complete with my lorem ipsum code. So I've got some nice placeholders in there. If you want to nest elements or multiple elements inside one level, let's say you've got something like a div, you can actually specify a plus symbol. That allows you to say that, hey, inside my div tag, I'd like to have a header and a break. So I'm going to add, add both. And that, rather than nesting one inside the other, nests those two elements within your parent element. So the plus sign allows you to nest uh, two elements at the same level. Another neat little trick you can do, if you really want to get into some advanced HTML Zen coding, uh, you'll find yourself using the basic nested elements quite quickly, I'm sure. But here's a couple of other ones to get you going once you're, once you're hooked. One of them is you can specify a hashtag, and what that's going to do is when you specify the hashtag, it will add an ID attribute to your HTML element. So I might say, hey, this div is going to be called content, and right away it creates that content ID attribute for me. You can also specify a class attribute by using a period. So I might specify address, and you'll notice it adds a class attribute. Now you can combine these together. I could say create a div which has an ID of content and a class of address just by specifying hashtag contract, content period address and it creates both the attributes, the ID attribute and the class address, class attribute for me. Sorry about that. Um, and you can even combine that with everything else we saw. So I can say go ahead create me a div element which has an ID of content a class attribute of address, and within that, let's add a table which has two rows and two columns per row, each of which contains lorem ipsum. Boom. So there you go, Zen coding using VS Web Essentials inside Visual Studio. Have fun with it.